Yo, what's up guys here is GTA Pupster here and welcome back to another GTA 6 video. In today's video, we're going to be going over an update on my previous video as I shared these charts that came out from Take 2. Uh, Jeff Cohen, a uh, analyst, or Jeff Grubb, I should say, he did tweet these tweets out in my previous video. But actually, Take 2 Interactive did come out and speak about this. And also, we're going to go be going over Rockstar Insider's drama starting to occur, so let's get right into today's video. As I said, you know, in my previous video, these charts came out from Take-Two Interactive. They had their uh, financial meeting call about a couple weeks ago, and they actually, or whatever, someone uh, did get these charts, and it had basically how in 2023, and 2024 they're going to be making about almost 90 million dollars and that's so like i can't even imagine how many money much money that is but anyway a lot of people thought right away okay if they're making 90 million dollars there's got to be a new triple a game triple a means like a real big game like gta red dead redemption something along those lines there's got to be something that Take Two Interactive is going to be releasing in 2023, 2024, or something along that nature. Well, Take Two Interactive actually came out about this because I think there was just so much talk about it that they had to come out and just calm people down. So, anyway, uh, this site that Jeff Grubb actually uh, posted it says Grand Theft Auto 6 in 2023. Take two, SEC, filling hints at release date, quote unquote, correction. And it says, correction. Take two clarified to Game Beast that this marketing obdur metric refers only its contracts with third parties. It does not reflect a marketing budget. For internal studios like Rockstar, it means that it doesn't not indicate a timeline for Grand Theft Auto 6. I apologize for this misleading error thanks grub for that uh what they're trying to say is again take two interactive publishes a lot of games with different companies like rockstar uh nba games and all that they publish and as they said in their conference uh, a couple weeks ago they said that 93 titles will be coming out in basically a whole length time like probably till 2024 so uh, what people were thinking that it was going to be GTA 6 in one of those titles, but when these charts came out and when they're making a lot of money, they just assumed, oh, GTA 6 will be possibly coming out in those titles. But what Jeff is trying to say is take two interactive to come out and tell them that it's for another game and not GTA 6. So again, we will have to see what goes on about this and... Uh, I will update you more about this, but I just wanted to cover that this does not uh, reflect GTA 6 in any manner with those charts. So moving on to uh, basically a fight going on with the GTA 6 insiders right now, and it is pretty much a bad one. And um, basically just insiders just fighting on Twitter. But also, I forgot to cover this in my last video. Jason Schreer did come out and said, Me. Sorry, folks. GTA 6 is still a few years away. Then he goes, Rockstar Insiders. No, it's 70% done. And then he also goes, Dozens of gamers. I'm not going to say that. So what is going on with Jason at this time is he is actually getting threats. And I want to first clarify that you might be... A GTA gamer any sort but you should not be giving threats or um, what should I say like basically calling out people you know well you can call out people but you can't just like fight with them you know like just call them names is bad they're just trying to do their job with any nature so anyway actually it started with Yan a uh, couple um, someone actually uh, said on the GTA forum to Yan What's your opinion on this? Uh, what actually he actually said, where does Schreer say that GTA 6 is quote unquote fears away? The only statement from him I know is that the game is in quote unquote early development. It's not the same. E, don't give me the tweet 
he made earlier. And uh, Yan goes on to say, It was a tweet where he talks blank about Fun and I that he deleted a few minutes ago. Also went on to say, someone said to him, Poor guy, he wants so much to be right. Yan goes on to say, With the reply I gave him, I'm surprised that I'm not blocked, honestly. Well, Jason Shearer must have saw that tweet and came out to someone that uh, talked to Jason. And he says, I block someone if slash when I notice them responding that the same question every single time I tweet. So I don't know what he's trying to say here. I think he's trying to say if this fight goes on for a while or Yan really goes after Jason, probably he will be blocked. And I'm just surprised Jason hasn't blocked him yet either. I think it's coming, but I just don't know when the day will come. Also on the GTA forums, it goes on, someone said, 2-0. and oh, Jason, looks like Jason Schreer took an L for this one, LOL. And Ian goes on, who would have thought? So this is like just really getting out of control. Uh, also, someone goes on to say, what did you reply? Can I s share the same fate as you do? I got blocked some time ago for the same minor thing. And someone said, get your popcorn ready. Jason vs. Yan fight of the decade. Yan goes on to say, considering he deleted this tweet, I don't think it's going to be a fight of much. So again, something is probably stirring up in the pot right now. Jason vs. Yan. So we will have to see what goes on. It's basically, I think, why these fights are incurring is because... Rockstar Games has been silent the past couple months. I know, understand why they're being silent because, as you again, we have COVID-19 going on and they can't really, they're just, you know, taking it easy. But I think Rockstar should come up to say something along the line, what is going on with GTA 6, just to calm people down, maybe, like, hint them out that it's just... What uh, what year is coming out? Maybe just put something out to just calm the community down. That would be nice. So if you did enjoy today's video, a like rating would be awesome. Subscribe if you're new for more GTA videos like this. My name is GTA Pupster here, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.